All right, this is what I want you to do. Please pay close attention. Go below and subscribe to Hustlers Kung Fu and watch that video. Hustlers Kung Fu is going to be where I'm going to put the business content and other stuff. That's where that's going to be. And I have finally come up with a concept for this channel. So this weekend I did some testing and, you know, I went ahead and looked at some other channels. Um, once again, don't attack anyone. Don't don't go after anyone. Just leave it alone. And I just came to this realization that the majority of people do not want to be helped because I was looking through Michael's comments and stuff and Michael doesn't respond. I know why. That's a lot of negativity. And, you know, I'll, I'll tell you a story of what of a content creators, content creators, right? Um, you have people who are content creators who make content to get views. There was a guy, he's a car dealer, and he and his wife went to a car dealer to look at this vehicle, right? And I'm just like, tell you something, this guy, he gets a lot of YouTube views. So he's making twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month from YouTube. So I have a friend who owns a car dealership, right? And he drives a Mercedes. No, he drives, I forget. It's, it's one of those high tune Mercedes. His wife drives a G-Wagon. Where did he get these cars? He bought them at the auto auction because he owns an auto dealership. And I was just sitting there looking at this video because he was just talking about we went to a car dealership and we were having all these issues. And I, I like, I started to calculate in my head. All right, so you're making all this money from YouTube. You're a car dealer. You can go to a dealership and get virtually anything you want or go to multiple dealerships or actually buy a vehicle out of state from a car dealership because you're a car dealer. And I just started to realize that the negative content trap, it's a trap. And the people who are in this trap, because once again, let's go ahead and talk about the group of people who are in this trap. They are people that, you know, I was having this kind of this conversation with all things real. These people do not want to be successful. They don't want to work hard. And I'm not saying that they're lazy. Their ideal is, and this is something the upgrade said, that if you're working four hours a week, you should be able to afford a home. That's the kind of the mindset that you're seeing with little regard that inflation was here before all of us was born. Inflation is not going anywhere. And I looked in the 80s, inflation had reached 14, 15 percent. So this is something that has happened before it will happen again in the future. And one of the things that I've looked at, because, you know, addressing the 80 percent here, uh, these are guys, they just don't want to start a business. They don't want to build anything. They don't want, and that's perfectly fine. If you don't want to do all that, that, that's fine. That's your life. You can do what you want. But it, it, it just made me because when I went to these other YouTube channels and literally, literally, you got people making millions of dollars putting out non helpful content. So someone come on YouTube and talked about once again, the fake housing crashes. We have an affordability issue. That's a real issue. A lot of people cannot afford a house. That's a very real issue. And then we have some other issues that literally just are part of this situation. That's just part of this situation. But, you know, I've been thinking about what am I going to do with this channel? What am I going to do to this channel? And, you know, at the moment I'm running some ads and there's a ton of YouTube channels that talk about credit. Uh, I would assume there's a ton of TikTok channels that talk about credit. I would assume, and I'm running ads, you know, to get people into a business credit course. And I got people with credit scores of like 450. Uh, I've got people with credit scores who, who once again, and I'm going to explain to you why these people are answering the ad. There have been a bunch of people 
on the internet space who have been lying about you can be a person with making $35,000 a year and some bank's gonna give you a credit card with a $50,000 limit. Even though that makes no sense whatsoever. It makes no sense. Why would a bank give you a credit card with a $50,000 limit when you only make $35,000 a year? That, that makes no sense whatsoever. But there are people out there who are looking for the right strategy. Excuse me, I used the word strategy. They're looking for the hack. They're looking for the hack that can get them to go into whatever they need to do to get these credit so they can go out and invest this credit. And this is something else too. This, this is something else too. I have realized that a lot of people, number one, once again, they don't want to start a business. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to build anything. They don't want to create anything. That's perfectly fine. But the same group of people are consistently pocket watching and they have a critique on people who are successful. And one of the things I've seen, if you're successful, you made a deal with the devil. That's the only reason you could be successful. Have someone come in, lucky money comes to you easily. Forget the fact that I had a business where I was working 12, 16 hours a day. Forget that, that had nothing to do with it. Um, it's, it's just luck and I, it's easy, right? And this is one of the things that I've consistently see in the internet space. All right, so one of the things I'm gonna do with this channel is make it for beginners because that's pretty much what's here is just a bunch of beginners. And there's a group of people who watch this channel who do want to start a business, who do want to make money, who do want to become a corporate citizen. So I'm getting ready to change the format of this channel and everything because typically I had no clue to what I was going to do with this channel. And I'm probably going to delete the other channel because I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I got to think about that because, you know, I'm just sitting there like, it doesn't make sense to post content on that channel that doesn't have an alignment. And that's one of the situations that's been going on. There has been no alignment. There has been no central theme. There's been no central cons consistency here. So I'm getting ready to change that starting this week. And we're going to actually get into some of um, some significant things. Um, Cause one, I got love for the beginners. I got love for people who are trying, for people who put themselves out there because the beginning sucks. The beginning is hard. The beginning is issue Latin. Like, you know, we're running these ads, like at the moment we're running test ads and we'll be running them pretty much to, I think the 11th of June, that would be the first 30 days. And you know, it's, it's a process. So I'm beginning to make this the beginning channel. I'm getting ready to do some stuff that's maybe a little strange. And, you know, one of the things that I'm seeing with these ads um, is literally that we have people who are financially unsophisticated. They're financially unsophisticated. They don't like literally I'm running this for a business credit course and I've got people I asked the guy, what was his credit score? He said 450. And, you know, he says he's working on fixing this credit, which I don't think he's actually working on it. I think this is one of the things, because one of the things I make sure to say is you need a credit score of 750 and people are still answering these ads because they're looking for some type of miraculous miracle. They're looking for something because once again, most banks are just not going to loan money to someone who's financially insolvent. If you max out your credit cards on your personal credit report, you're not getting any business funding. If you have bad issues such as uh, derogatory things on your credit report collections, charge offs, banks not giving you any credit. And th these are the people who have these issues. And th this kind of goes back to 
the thing that I talked about with the money management course. I pushed it, I pushed it, I pushed it, I pushed it, I pushed it. And people, once again, I had to really, really think about that because there's a group of people who appreciated the money management course. And there was a group of people who just completely ignored it. They didn't want anything to do with it. And one of the things that I'm getting ready to do, oh yeah, there, there, there'll be a channel name change. Once again, I haven't, like give me some time this week, but I'm gonna change the name. I'm going to realign the content. I'm going to get rid of some videos and I'm going to go in a totally different direction because there are things that you can do and you can get started where you can make money right now, but you actually have to do something. And that right there, that's one of the biggest issues. We have a lot of people, they don't wanna do anything. They just simply don't wanna do anything. They just like, okay, look, look, let's have this conversation. Your grandfather's America is dead. Man, that, that would make a great video title. Your grandfather's America's dead. You know, back in the day, granddad, number one, there was no internet. And more than likely, he married a woman that lived within 10 miles of him. And they were different. Inflation was different. Taxes were different. That was your grandfather's economy. It's gone. It ain't ever coming back. I'm about to say something a little scary. 20 years from now, housing prices will be, you know, people will go back here and look at the housing prices today. And it's like houses were cheap. 20 years in the future, housing prices are going to be much, much higher, much, much higher. And one of the things that people don't understand is we live in a society full of change, full of change. And, you know, the, the society's not going to crash in the economy from a standpoint. First quarter of this year, we had a, the economy grew. Second quarter of this year, the economy grew. But we've had really high inflation that has hurt a lot of people and it's made people look at their money two and three different times. But typically, I want you to think about this. And this is something that people, you know, and I was thinking about some of these comments. Uh, there was one comment. Has anyone ever gotten rich from what he sells? And I would say there's been a few people, but, 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 but these people were well capitalized to begin with. Now, what does that mean? Uh, one lady, she started a million dollar cleaning company. She had $150,000 to start. Another guy, um, he was selling stuff on Craigslist. He took my courses. He went from 10,000 to 30,000 to 50,000. So yeah, there have been a few people, but see, these were not normal, regular. This wasn't the guy who was working in the warehouse who took my course and all of a sudden he became rich. That didn't happen. I'm never gonna tell you that happened. Uh, the people who did well were well-educated and they had some money to start. They had some money. And this whole notion, you know, kind of going back and reflecting on when I was in that boarding house. And I have to ask myself, why was I in that boarding house? I had no skills, I had no drive, I had no plan. I was just like a lot of the, I was just like the 80%. I was just going to work, getting a check, coming home. And one of the things that happened is thanks to Earl Nightingale, Earl Nightingale changed my life. Earl Nightingale taught me to think and look at life in a totally different manner. And one of the things that happened was I became different. And at that point, because literally I was in that boarding house almost three years. And when I came across Earl Nightingale, Six months after coming across Earl Nightingale, I left that boarding house. I got the job at rent crate six months after I came across Earl Nightingale because he literally changed my thinking, changed the way I did stuff. And he, he, he brought a new level of thinking 
to me. And one of the things that I, I have really struggled with is, you know, once again, I was having the conversation with all things. It's, I just can't sit up here and make a bunch of negative commentary. That, that just doesn't sit well with me. I just can't do it. I just can't do it when I know better. I know the economy isn't as bad. I do know that we have people with inflation problems. I do know that we have people with skill set problems because uh, a friend of a friend who was an engineer put in his two weeks notice. He didn't even have a job. He put in two weeks notice. He took two weeks off and then he filled out an application. And this guy has some very critical and unique um, occupational skills. And after those two weeks, he was just chilling and he was home one day and he, f he actually talked to a recruiter. Literally dude was out of work three weeks, three weeks. And I think that's one of the reasons he quit his job without a plan. Cause he knew that he can easily find a job. And I'm not talking about like a regular job. I mean, he got, he started off at 350,000. That's what he started off with, with stock options and bonuses and stuff. So that is a very, very different story than what the guy in the warehouse works. Uh, the guy who's out here doing these things. Um, one of the things that I consistently see is I'm going to call it the great miracle. You're a regular person. You don't have any education, whether that's life education, business experience or formal education. And you think that you're just going to hit this good lick. I was watching a video today. Video doesn't have a lot of views because he's talking about how to make money from a very practical and real point. And this guy said he got on the phone. He did appointment setting for six months and he went from two to three thousand dollars a month to ten thousand a month. Once he figured out something in six months, that's real plausible. But see, here's the thing. He was actually doing something. He was actually going to work. He was actually doing something. And this right here is um, one of the biggest issues with this group of people because one of the things that happens is people do not want to take a risk. This one must say they don't want to take a risk um, because you would have to get out here and do something and create something. And I was listening to another podcast. It was really good, really, really informative. And one of the things that happens is education is extremely important. And this is something else. And I'm, I'm going to put this to you and please answer this in the comments. There's a bunch of people who feel that they should not have to pay for course but this information is on the internet for free. And there were little, there were little people, you, you cannot convince them. It's like everything's on the internet, everything's free. There's no point in paying for a course, right? Okay, let's go ahead and say that's your position. If that's the case, why is the majority of the country poor? Please put your, no answer, don't, don't ignore, answer that question. If that's the case, if there's all of these skills and stuff you can find on the internet for free, you don't have to pay anyone, you don't have to learn, you don't have to do any of this stuff, you can go ahead and get this incredible benefit. Why are there so many poor people? Why are there literally a contingency of people going to TikTok, making all these videos talking about how hard it is to live in America today? If all this information is free and readily available because I'm, I'm going to tell you something. The people who have like, go ahead, do this, go to Google and put in how to run ads and see what you find. You will not find detailed stuff. You will not find blogs because the people who know how to run ads and know how to run ads correctly, they're sitting on that information because th that information is extremely valuable. They're not giving that away. 
They're not giving that away. That you will go ahead and Google how to find ads and go to YouTube, how to run ads, and you'll see how to run these Facebook ads and stuff, but you will not see anyone who's really being successful. And like, I, I saw a video the other day, like how to run Facebook ads for five bucks a day. Okay, here, here's something else. If you're not spending a minimum of 50 bucks a day, you're not gonna get anywhere with Facebook. And you're definitely not gonna get anywhere with YouTube. It's not happening. How do I know this? Cause I've, I'm, I'm, I'm spending some money running ads. And as I spend this money to run ads, I'm learning and they're educating me. And you're not gonna get anywhere spending five bucks a day. It's just not happening. But once again, this is what people want. They want to believe that they can go ahead and start getting some benefits spending five bucks a day. Uh, it's not, it's not. And during this testing phase, we spent a hundred bucks a day just testing. And we spent, and this one actually, this test is actually going pretty well because after we figure out some stuff, because literally one of the things is, um, because maybe if you follow my Instagram, maybe you'll see some of the ads. I actually say in the ads, if you, you have a credit score of 700 and people are completely ignoring that and they're just coming in and it's like, hey, how can I be, you know, this whole process of coming to the internet, making money and putting together this whole process of putting together a business is difficult, challenging, and it takes time. It takes time. So one of the things that is happening is the really good information, the stuff that works, because the thing is, like give you an example, YouTube. The stuff that made YouTube good in 2013 doesn't work today. Just doesn't work today. Uh, you can make, like there was so many things that YouTube used to do that they got rid of. Like if someone made a video, you could do a reply video. Um, there, there's, you know, and also I think now the first wave of YouTubers are pretty much gone. That first group of YouTubers, the very first people, they aged out of their audiences. Uh, there was this one guy, I think his name was Stan, a little blonde headed kid. He's gone. Um, uh, so essentially to get really good, effective information and effective things, you really, really have to dive deep into the data to get the information that you're looking for to help you make the decisions, to help you get the benefits that you want out of life. And, you know, we're, we're getting, like, like I said, you know, the content's changing like yesterday. That was an experiment. The, the last few videos, because literally, I, you know, because I got this comment. It's like, hey, I wanted to watch this video. I was like, you should have watched it when it came out, because uh, one of the things that happened is people start reporting the videos, not the audience, but the people who made the videos. And you got to be really, really careful. This is why those videos that I did that really didn't do that well. They really didn't do that well. But I made them from a perspective where it was me uh, criticizing in redoing the video so I would not get a copyright strike. And I got a copyright strike because someone reported one video. I'm not really worried because literally that would be the second copyright strike I've ever gotten. And the first one, like after so long, they just kind of disappear, I think, I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna get another one. And another thing, that you have to understand is we're getting ready to start moving. Now, I'm gonna start sending out some emails because once again, I'm, I'm just sitting there thinking, I'm actually thinking about the training because, you know, I can train you how to create a course. I can train you how to start a YouTube channel. I can train you how to fix credit. I can train you how to do business credit. Those are some really hot things. And at, probably at some point I'm going to do all of that training because like literally um, going over to the new YouTube channel, Hustlers Kung Fu, I actually put out a video about that because once again, remember that question I asked you about if everything is on the internet and it's free, 
literally I had so many people who had bad credit who were coming to me to try to get business credit. And the information on having business credit and being set up that certain way is on the internet. And people are just simply not looking at it. You know, it's, it's, it's a strange, strange, strange thing. It's a very, very strange thing. But yeah, so we're gonna get off into some new content. Yes, I'm gonna change the name of the channel. I'm gonna change the design of the channel. I'm gonna get rid of some videos. I'm gonna do some different kind of things. I'm gonna set up some stuff. I'm getting ready to do a whole haul change. Because one of the things I think is with me and all my changes and movements and stuff, I've literally run off a ton of people run off a ton of people. And, you know, this is kind of one of the things I was having when I used to be writing real heavy and people were talking about people stealing your work and copyright strike. And the guy said, the people who are stealing your work were never going to buy. So these people who got pissed off at me changing the name, changing the content, they never were going to buy anyway. They're never going to buy anywhere. They're never going to be part of the click. They were never going to be part of that. They were never going to stand up with that. So there's a lot of stuff I'm thinking about. I'm taking notes. I'm writing them down. I'm setting up this whole thing. So yeah, the channel's going to get changed because like, you know, literally doing that experiment this weekend, and that was just an experiment, you know, because I'm known for that. I just did an experiment. And, you know, uh, the Vendell Williams video actually showed me something. There's a lot of people here who are looking for solutions. There's a lot of people who are just here, who are just here. They're, they're here for kicks. They're here for fun. They're here for jokes. But there's a group of people here who literally want to do something, who literally want to build something, who want to create something in their life. They want to do this. They very much so want to do this. And I'm going to make this the beginner channel. This is kind of in my mind and this could change because the Hustlers Kung Fu channel will be kind of the business stuff. Because right now, one of the things is we're going to talk about beginning businesses here and getting started and stuff because the Hustlers Kung Fu channel is going to be like the advanced edition of this channel. And then we're going to be talk because literally, you know, the way that I got business credit is an advanced composition is really, really advanced. And this is something that if you're a beginner or someone brand new, you just can't do it. You just can't do it because you don't have the business, you don't have the bank accounts, you don't have the tax, for, you, you just can't do it. So what we're going to do is start talking about a program. And let me go ahead and share what's in my mind. And th I think this is gonna happen. And you know, I'm thinking of calling it the 90 day business challenge, 90 day business challenge. And what I'm going to do is make this affordable. This is another issue because one of the things is I ask a lot of questions and these people with bad credit and low incomes cannot afford something significant. They can't afford a $1,500 course. They can't afford a $2,000 course. They just simply can't afford it. But these are the people, and th this is kind of that area, because one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing a lot more webinars. I'm going to actually start getting on phones, because like with the 90 Day Challenge, part one is the analysis. Because one of the things I learned from running ads is you got to have to correct data. So I need to know what I'm working with in, you know, analysis. We'll look at your credit reports, look at a lot of stuff and then lead you down a different path. Because um, one of the things I learned from the free phone calls, and this is some that I'm, I've gotten away from, you cannot get a free phone call. I, I would have people who have no money, no capital, and they want to get on the phone to talk about business. I'm just sitting there like, I don't understand that. I, I just don't understand that at all. I have no clue. But one of the things we're going to do, and this, it has to be affordable. It has to be affordable. 
because that's the reality of most people's pockets. They, they just can't spend five, six, seven, eight thousand. The top 25% can, but the 75%, the 80%, they can't do it. So it, it has to be affordable. It has to be something structured. So we're going to do the analysis. Then we're going to do the, the development play phase. And then, you know, we're going to get, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's coming. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's coming. So I'm going to be talking about it. So just stay tuned and give me a little time to work on it. And I'll start this whole process this week. So once again, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to even tell you to watch any of the other videos because I'm really getting ready. I'm getting ready to get rid of a lot of videos. I'm getting ready to get rid of a lot of them because I want this channel to be focused on beginning business owners, beginning business owners. And one of the things I'm going to do is credit repair. And then we'll have to do this out of my Florida office. Um, this is a huge, it's huge. I had no clue to how many people had messed up credit. I knew that people had messed up credit, but I had no, it's, it's huge. It's huge. So we're, this is probably going to be something that's going to be part of it. So we'll do the 90 day business challenge analysis, look at your credit, fix your credit, give you guide points and other stuff. So this is going to be a very different level of training. And it's going once again, it has to be affordable. It has to be. All right. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll have some more videos for you really, really soon.